Hey friends and welcome back. I am Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. Today we're going to be doing a uh, budget with me for September and this is the kit that I made. This is for my Erin Condren. Let's go through that really quick. These I decided to separate the dates just to see how I liked it and that says September weekly check-in cash envelopes and sinking funds. Here we have like our pretty much our headers and I foiled them and I also did a how to foil your um, planner stickers and that'll be coming up probably in a few days. And then I have my total income, income budgeted, actual expenses, total expenses in my total boxes, item description, amount, date. I have two of those because we have sinking funds and envelopes, cash envelopes. And then here are my bill due stickers, another header box. And then here I made myself some booth rent uh, stickers here. So I made sure to make five this time just in case I needed an extra one. And we have our weeks here. They're not perfect, but they're there. And so this is pretty much for my B6. I have it all in one kit. When I first made this, um, I was really testing it out and I made these build do stickers just quite small. So I will be either using these or using some and I added extra to the Erin Condren this time. So I could possibly use those. Okay, so let's jump in. So I'll probably fast forward. Um, I do have another book here. I have a couple of them that I wanna use. So this is September. I already set it up. You guys saw a quick view of it last time. And then this is August. This is how August is going. So let's jump right into September. And um, I'm enjoying budgeting in my B6, but I swear I'm gonna try to keep. But we're not gonna do it. We're gonna save us some coins. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so I'm back, and this is what September is looking like. Yeah, the stickers are a little crooked. <laughs> but I was, after I got to going, I was like, you know what, I think I read, 
made this kit because everything is so long. So I think I redid this kit, but what I've done with it, I've been decluttering, so I might have thrown the rest of it away, but it's okay. I made this work. I have my week one, week two, week three, week four stickers, and I'm loving the foil. I should have done the gold on this, which I kind of planned, but the silver is fine. I have the gold on the Erin Condren. And then this is my cash envelopes. Over here is for sinking funds. No, excuse me, expenses. And I was going to put my expenses here, but my expenses have kind of grown a little bit. So I gave them a page by themselves. And I think I'll put sinking funds here. So that is that in the B6. So let's pop that back in. And I took out, I had it in here with my daily sales. Let's pop that in. So if you rather, you know, uh, plan in something smaller, the B6 is perfect because it's total booming. The A5 isn't uh, not big as as well, but to me, I think it. I've had a regular ring binder E5, and I just thought it was too big to carry. So, let's get into September. So, same situation. I'm going to lay the stickers down here, and then I'll come back, and we'll do a little budgeting. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. So I'm laying my stickers for the month for my bills that are due. And I, for some reason, got a brain fart. But I said, uh, let me tune in so I can let you guys know what's going on. So the second, I know, ooh, I've accumulated a few little more things to pay. Why? I don't know. Why I did that, I don't know. But it's all to the good. They're gonna get paid. We're just gonna go ahead and claim it. So I'm looking back because I'm again having a brain fart and don't know like when my car note do and that that's not like me. So I know on the 28th, I always take care of the top three first, but now I have a couple little mini bills due. Um 28th. It's car insurance. Let's see what else we have. Schedulicity on the 6th. So I may not fill these in right now, but because I want us to get to the actual budgeting part, the 10th, the gym, 17th. I have one, two, the 17th.
and I added more stickers to this kit because I started out with 28 when I first started making them and then that was some months ago then I stopped doing it and then this time I said I'll cut that in half and just do Oh, I'm going, what? 27th. I got a new bill now. That's XM Radio. Let me write that down. And, let's see. What else we got? So we go to Queensland Gym. Capital One. Okay, you guys, so I got pretty much everything in that I can think of. So let's get into these expenses. So I always start out with what is major. Um, car note number one. It is 181.60. Car note number two is 181.60 then we have I don't know why I always put car insurance but it's just insurance it's life all that good stuff it is 219 that's what it's been here lately so that's what I'm budgeting for capital one Capital One, I'm budgeting 50 for them. I need to budget 100 for them, but I'm gonna put them on 50 because I have some plans for them. Uh, Wayfair, the minimum amount is 20, but I said 50. And what else is on Schedulicity? Need somewhere for people to write their appointments. That is 20. The gym. The gym is $19.99. I was going to cancel it because I haven't been going. Plus, I have treadmill stuff like that at home. Uh, Simply Gilded. I'm going to do Simply Gilded again. And I think I'll be done after September, October. That is $29. That's what I'm budgeting. Let's see. What else? Because I know I have something else. Oh, Amazon, all that little stuff. Aflac, Apple, Amazon. Oh, I put, I should have put, okay, loan number one slash Acura. That is a hundred. Loan number two, Navy Federal Credit Union. That is a hundred. It's actually $91, but I want to give it a hundred. Um, GoDaddy because I always forget to put GoDaddy down so I'm off like about $5 it's $4.99 um, Amazon is $12.99 uh, this is back in April when I only had like that 10 things to pay now we up Go daddy. Oh my lord, cell phone bill. Jesus. I am guesstimating $285 for the cell bill. Ooh. <sighs> see. Let's go into August because that should be a little more accurate. Aflac. We didn't include Aflac. And Aflac is $30. So far, that's what I'm uh, budgeting for. Oh, XM Radio, I picked up. I know, this don't make sense. But the deal was so good. It's $6.06 <laughs> $6 a month. I used to pay them like $20 a month. So, I've always pretty much had XM Radio except for like my Acro because it was a little older. And um, I used to love it, but... Um, 
I stopped it when I got this car and the free trial ran out. I was like, I don't need, I don't even hardly listen to the radio like I used to. But I got it back because the deal was so good. I know, just crazy. So we got Jim. I think I'm missing something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's whip out our calculator. The test, if um, I forgot anything, 181.6 plus 219 plus 50 plus 50 plus 20 plus 1999 plus 29 plus, oh, I know what I forgot, plus 100 plus 499 plus 1299 plus 285 plus 30 plus six dollars and six cents. I said something missing because I have a two thousand dollar but I spend expenses every month so uh, booth rent. So this month we have um, it's 840. We have I pay 210 a week so it's 840. So let's see. Right now, um, let me double check because I feel like I'm missing something. So we have Car Note 1, Car Note 2, Car Insurance, Capital 1, Wayfair, Schedule Licity, Gem, Simply Gilded, Loan Number 1, Loan Number 2, GoDaddy, Amazon, Capital 1, GoDaddy, Amazon, Sale Bill, Aflac, XM Radio, Booth Rent. So right now we at 2110. That's not, I know it's more than that because the other day I was budgeting something and it came up to 2000 something so wait for X and go daddy apple F you know i gotta pull out my backup and i really can't even go back to july because those i have more than that now so that wouldn't be accurate but let me see what i'm missing did i do amazon i did amazon apple i didn't do apple and I don't even know why I'm still paying Apple because I got more storage when I got a new phone. So that's 99 cent. Um, I might take that off. I feel like I don't pay Weebly anymore. I got my car insurance. Simply gilded. Okay. We got to go into some heavy artillery and see what it is that I'm missing because I know I pay more than this. Because see, I ran out of room over here. Go, Daddy. So what I do is I do a check off list. So car note number one, car note number two, car insurance, sale, sale bill. I did get that down, didn't I? Here it is, sale bill. Loan number one. Let's find loan number one. Right there. Loan number two is right there. Booth rent, right there. Aflac, right there. Amazon. Cause something's not adding up right. Cause how I have two two eight nine right here, right here. Gem, Wayfair, right there. Capital One, right there. Apple, right there. Simply Gilded, right there. GoDaddy, GoDaddy. Oh, there he is, right there. And then XM. Oh. I don't know. It seems like I got everything. Let me um, add this up again. Okay, so this plus the 840. Whoa. Well, that is correct. Let's, let's go over it again. Because I just want to make sure that I'm accurate. So let's do 181.6 plus 181.6 plus 219 plus 50 plus 50 plus 20 plus 1999 plus 29 plus 100 plus 100 plus 499 what 1299 
606 plus 840 plus something ain't right. I'm going to add this up real quick off camera and get my total. Okay, this is what I got. It's not adding up, but I'm going to put it down here. $2,081.22 in expenses. I will come back and revisit that. I got the $285. It's just not adding up. I know I normally have $2,100. So that completes my budget with me. I feel like it was a little extended. So I'll just go in and fill these things in just to keep the video short. I have an extra space here. And um, I don't really have a reason for it. I want to use it for baby steps, but I don't want to get into that right now because I just want to kind of stay focused on basically keeping my budget streamlined for myself. Um, I need my weekly check-ins. I need to know what my expenses are. I need to know the days they're due. And I'm thinking of doing the cash envelopes. So basically what I'm putting in the cash envelopes, my sinking funds. So anything that works for me, that's going to work for me. I don't want to get into baby steps right now. This just works for me. So again, this is the last look at... September and the B6 and they match that's all I want so I think I'm gonna make me a monthly kit for uh, my B6 too so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel and you're interested in learning to budget being self-employed or just budgeting period um, I also do plan with me videos please feel free to leave me a comment below and subscribe bye